When I uh, was a kid and I first heard the word gay and what it meant, it sounded like a mental, emotional affliction and I was sure that I had it. It became my great secret. I always knew I was gay since I was very young. I was also very closeted. I was very, not that, I mean, if you look back and you saw my room was covered in Phantom of the Opera merchandise. I, I don't know how closeted that is, but I certainly wasn't talking about it. I had a hard time. I was bullied a lot in school. I actually had to change schools in eighth grade because the bullying got so bad I had to go to a different school. I was homophobic for so much of my life. It wasn't really comfortable in my own skin until I was probably 51. I never imagined that I could be speaking out publicly. The fact that I can do that now and live openly is because we have leaders who are strong and make powerful statements. Every single American deserves to be treated equally in the eyes of the law and in the eyes of our society. It's a pretty simple proposition. It's amazing how each generation just keeps pushing the ball forward. President Obama has pushed it forward faster than any time in the history of our community. He's hired more gay and lesbians in his administration than any other sitting president. He repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. For we are not a nation that says, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. We are a nation that says, out of many, we are one. All of those brave men and women who are willing to sacrifice their lives for us can now serve openly. This is done. Government workers now have benefits for their partners. And if my partner is sick in the hospital, I have visitation rights. We didn't have any of that before. Having the President of the United States declare his belief that gay couples should be allowed to marry and to use the word marry it was incredibly inspiring to watch that all unfold. It is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. I heard the announcement uh, from the President on the radio and I immediately called Brad. We started getting phone calls from friends sharing the joy of hearing our president making such a bold and principled statement of equality. We reveled in that. I wept, I was, I was just so happy because it, it, meant, it meant the world to me and to my family and the life that my kids will have. Alana Kloss and I have been together about 33 years. In the old days, we always hid and now we don't have to hide. I've waited a long time for that, and there's a lot of people in their grave that have waited forever, that they had to live underground their whole lives. If I was a kid in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 14, 15 years old, and I watched the evening news with my parents, and the sitting president of the United States said, I support gay marriage, that would have been, it would have changed a lot. And I, I don't know if he knows how many lives he's changing by just saying that simple thing. He's saving, he's saving lives, really, and it's, um, it's very moving. And I, 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 I wish I had that when I was a kid, and I'm also so happy for the kids that have that now. They're going to grow up into a time that is not something that we can even, I think, imagine. That has to do with finally having a president who is really getting things done and talking about our issues. You are not alone. There are people out there who love you and care about you just the way you are. I was really very grateful to him for standing up for those kids who are having a really rough time out there because of their orientation. As they're trying to come to terms with their own position in this world, that they might be able to do it with a little bit less separation, alienation, that brings me more joy than anything else. You know, all it takes is someone like Mitt Romney in the White House, and we can roll back rights. We could lose them. He wants to amend the Constitution to say that marriage is only between a man and a woman. There are, are such extremes of point of view between acceptance and tolerance and growth and, on the other side, small-mindedness and judgment. Thomas Jefferson said, you know, you have to refight this fight with every generation, and it's our turn now. We have to preserve those rights, and when you cast a vote for Barack Obama, you're standing up for those rights. You always have to protect change, because it's very easy to slide backwards. We're on the brink of major movement forward, and it's incredibly important to re-elect President Obama. Come out and vote for President Obama. Come out and vote for President Obama. Come out and vote for President Obama.
visit barackobama.com slash LGBT.